जी के जे एन स्कूल्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टार्ट योर चाइल्ड्स अर्ली एजुकेशन subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update dear children thanks for watching this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe our school youtube channel Good evening, children. This is Fatma from GK Science Schools. Let us continue with coordinate geometry from tenth mathematics. As we have already seen the uh, area of triangle. I mean, how to find the area of triangle using the coordinate of vertices and also the collinearity of triangle. We'll continue with the same exercise. Let's move on to the topic now. So I hope everyone should be clear with the area of the triangle formula which we saw in the previous class. Uh, the same format we are going to see this class also, and also the collinearity of three points, which means the area of the triangle becomes zero. Then area of the quadrilateral. So we'll continue with the rest of the sums in the exercise 5.11. So we'll continue with fourth sum from exercise 5.1. In each of the following, find the value of a for which the given points are collinear. Means they have given that the points are collinear. Okay. So I have taken the second subdivision. Means the first subdivision can be done as a homework. The points, the coordinates are a comma two minus two a minus a plus one comma two a minus four minus a comma six minus two a. So I am naming them as x one y one, x two y two, x three y three. If the points are collinear, then obviously the area of the triangle will be equal to zero. So half into I'll write the coordinates x one y one, x two y two, x three y three again x one y one. So a two minus two a. Minus a plus one two a minus four minus a six minus two a again a two minus two a. Now I will cross multiply them. A since the coordinates are very uh, sensitive, sensitive in the sense they are having negative signs and they are like not terms expressions. So a into two a two a square and then this term minus a plus one into six minus two a. Okay and then uh, why I have uh, kept them in a separate bracket is it is having a negative sign. Then minus four minus a into two minus two a. So this one uh, thing is over. Minus of second one two minus two a into minus a plus one two a into minus four minus a six minus two a into a. Okay. Now again I'll multiply them inside. So two a square six into minus a minus six a six into one six minus two a into minus into minus plus so two a square minus into one minus two a. Then Two into minus four minus eight. Two into minus a minus two a minus into minus plus two a into four eight a. Then two in two a into a is two a square and minus into minus is plus two a square. Again similarly down also I'll be doing it minus a into two. That is minus two a minus into minus plus a into two a two a square. One into two two. One into minus two a minus two a. Then minus four into two a minus eight a. And minus a into two a it is minus two a square. And here I, again I'll multiply a into six six a minus two a square. Okay, now I'll take the brackets. I'll remove the brackets and take the minus sign. So I'm getting it to be two a square minus six a plus six plus two a square minus two a minus eight minus two a plus eight a plus eight two a square minus of again a bracket minus two a plus two a square plus two minus two a. Minus eight a minus two a square plus six a minus two a square. Now I can group all the a square, a and constant term. So I'm getting it to be six a square minus eight a plus a. So these two will get cancelled. Minus two a minus two minus of minus six a minus two a square plus two. Now what will happen? I will just group the square a and constant term. So minus six a square minus two a minus two plus six a minus two plus two a square. Okay, so I'm getting a quadratic equation: eight a square plus four a minus four is equal to zero. Dividing by four, the quadratic equation turns out to be two a square plus a minus one. So when factorizing, I'm getting the a value as a equal to one by two or a equal to minus one. Okay, so this is very important sum. Now the fifth sum: find the area of the quadrilateral whose vertices are. So they have given the vertices. I told you you have to take them in order. That is by plotting them in the graph sheet. A rough diagram can be drawn, and you can see. Where the points are getting plotted. Accordingly, you have to take your a, b, c, and d. Now, the formula for finding the area of the quadrilateral is half into 
x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 again x1 y1 so half into minus 8 6 minus 9 0 minus 6 3 minus 1 minus 2 again minus 8 6 that is the repetition of the x1 y1 now multiply minus 8 into 0 0 minus into minus plus 9 3 is 27 minus into minus plus 6 2 is 12 minus into 6 that is plus 6 so minus 6 and here minus of 6 into minus 9 minus 54 0 into 6 0 minus into minus plus 3 minus into minus plus 8 2 is 16 so i am getting the answer to be 34 square units okay so we'll see the next sum sixth sum Find the values of k if the area of the quadrilateral is 28 square units whose vertices are given. Okay. So, they have said that it forms the vertices of a quadrilateral and we were asked to find the value of the unknown. Okay. And the area was already given. So, let these coordinates be the um, vertices of the quadrilateral. So, area of the quadrilateral is given by half x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3, x4 y4, again x1 y1. So, I am getting it to be minus 4 into k minus 4k minus into minus plus 3 2s are 6. 3 into 3 9 2 into minus 2 minus 4 minus of minus into minus plus 3 2s are 6 3 into k 3k minus into minus minus into plus minus 2 into 2 4 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 now take the minus sign inside and i'm getting it to be minus 4k plus 11 minus 3k plus 10 equal to 56 which is minus 7k plus 21 is equal to 56 and minus 7k is equal to finally 35 okay so i'm getting the value of k to be minus 5 is that clear so this is how we have found the value of k to be minus 5 here minus 7k is equal to 56 minus 2 21 so minus 7k is equal to 25 and we are getting the value of k to be minus 5 so the next question the seventh question if the points a of minus 3 comma 9 b of a comma b and c of 4 comma minus 5 are collinear which means they are collinear and one more condition is a plus b is equal to 1 then find a and b so write down the points a of minus 3 comma 9 b of a comma b and c of 4 comma minus 5 that is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 given it was collinear and a plus b is equal to 1 therefore the area of the triangle is equal to 0 so half into the points x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 again x1 y1 so minus 3 into b minus 3 b a into minus 5 minus 5 a 4 into 9 36 minus 9 into a 4 into b minus into minus plus 15 now take the minus inserts i am getting it to be half into minus 3b minus 5a plus 36 minus 9a plus 4b plus 15 equal to 0. So I am getting it to be minus 14a minus 7b plus 21 equal to 0. So it is minus 14a minus 7b equal to minus 21. Take the minus sign outside. So it is 14a minus plus 7b equal to 21. Shall I take a 7 outside? So this will become 7 into 2a plus b equal to 21. Again, uh, if I take the 7 the other side, 21 by 7 will become 3. And I can write this 2a as a plus a plus b a plus a is nothing but 2a why we are splitting here is because a plus b is 1 which was already given in the question a plus b is 1 so here also i will substitute a plus b as 1 which makes a plus 1 is equal to 3 and a takes the value 2 by finding the value of 2 i can substitute in this a plus b is equal to 1 a as 2 so 2 plus b is equal to 1 means i will get the value of b to be minus 1 so this is also very important sum and the very last sum of the exercise so um, uh, you can see the you can refer to the question in the previous um, uh, picture which i have mentioned in this video also so actually in the figure the quadrilateral is a is designed to be a swimming pool okay the swimming pool is in the shape of, the shape of a quadrilateral so it is also being surrounded by a concrete patio find the area of the patio okay so this is like a uh, outer quadrilateral and an inner quadrilateral and which is like a swimming pool so we have two quadrilaterals and we are supposed to find the area of the patio okay so what we'll do area of the patio is equal to area of the quadrilateral minus area of the swimming pool area of the quadrilateral a b c d minus area of the swimming pool e f g h so area of the quadrilateral a b c d is equal to half into x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 again x1 y1 so minus into minus okay plus 4 into 4 16 8 into 10 80 6 into 6 36 10 into 8 80 and minus into minus will become plus minus of 8 into 8 64 minus is there 4 6 are 24 minus is there 10 into 10 minus 100 because minus is there 6 into 4 24 minus is there now take the minus inside so this will become 
half into 212 minus of minus will become plus 212. So half and 424 gets cancelled. It is 212. Now area of the swimming pool EFGH is equal to half into x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3, x4 y4 again x1 y1. So this will be minus into minus plus 3 twos are 6. 6 into 7 42. 3 fours are 12. Minus into minus plus 5 6 are 30. Minus of 5 into 6 30 minus 3 twos are 6 minus 7 6 are 42. Minus sign is there. 4 threes are 12. Minus sign is there. So simplifying, I am getting it to be 90 minus of 90. So minus into minus will become plus 90. So 2 and 180 gets cancelled 90. Finally, the area of the patio is equal to 212 minus 90, which is 122 square units. There is 122 square units. So this is also very important 5 marks sum. You can, uh, if you understand the diagram, it will be easier for you. It is like concentric circles. So you have to uh, subtract the outer quadrilateral and inner quadrilateral to get the area of the patio. So children, we have completed the exercise. We will see about the next topic in the next class. Thank you children.